A question that people ask me lots of time is, what is quality content then? Now, from my perspective, it's, well, does that content convert into a quality <laughs> leads? And if the content converts, then it's useful to the people reading it or else they w it won't convert. But from your perspective, do you have any content quality personal guidelines that you follow? Yeah, so the SEO checklist I have is more practical than just the philosophy of it, right? So the SEO checklist I talked about earlier, it's like you can follow step by step exactly what you need to do to make sure that's a quality piece of content. But one of the things that I find with YouTube, for example, and this is kind of my measure of whether I'm going to publish a video or not, is how much value does it bring to the end user, right? So it's not just about making sure you answer their question, but entertaining them and informing them along the way and making sure that they want to watch the next one, kind of like a TV series, right? And so when people watch my videos, they're like, wow, that was crazy. I want to see the next one, the next one, the next one. And they're kind of entertained and inspired along the way as well. And so this is the way that I see quality content is it's kind of like a Netflix series, right? If you, some of the best Netflix series that anyone else has watched are usually the ones that you want to binge watch the most. And why is that? Well, it's because they're inspiring. They create emotional reactions. They trigger people. They make people want to keep, they sort of hook people in and, you know, make you want to see the next one and the next one. And also they're usually very, very notable and unique in terms of, okay, I'm going to talk to someone about that. I'm going to mention this crazy episode that happened over there.